Welcome everybody to Roby Tech. My name is Justin Roby. I am the host. Today we're testing out a new case. It's the Antec Dark Cube. Pretty excited about this. Um, and we're gonna be basically be building in that today. Let's start talking about parts here. This is a small form factor case. It requires a micro ATX motherboard. So we're using the uh, B550M Aorus Pro P. Uh, and then we're pairing with that uh, the Ryzen 5 5600X. We're using the big boy, <laughs> the Master Air MA620M. Uh, so we're using the Intel 670P NVMe SSD. This is a one terabyte. And then for RAM, we're using the Team T Force 3600 megahertz um, Extreme ARGB. We're gonna use the Seasonic GX850. We showed the 3060 off not that long, 3070. So I figured we'd just continue our Strix, our Strix journey. And this is the ASUS ROG Strix 3060 Ti. And then again, the case is the Antec Dark Cube. Um, we're gonna be checking out this one. Dark cube. It's very ominous, right? Why don't we strip the case while we're here? Roby has no idea what he's doing, so we're gonna see what it comes out. Oh, that just pops off. Oh, you know what? I have a book. Let's use the book. It is tempered glass on both sides. So there we go. So this just lifts up and then uh, pops out. I told you that though, but you just said You did not. I said lift from the bottom. Lo, you don't know what you're talking about. Just comes with a tempered glass front panel as well. Nobody listened to him. I, I can't understate just how premium the build it's quality is. It's not like all plastic. No, it's not. It's, it's very nicely done. This is like, this is hefty. This whole thing, oh, this whole thing slips out. Oh, snap, snap. Okay, guys, you guys ready? You guys ready? Because this is crazy. Boom, there's your frame right there. And then the rest, you can just kind of set off to the side. How very Cougar Conquer, but not near as painful. That's pretty rad. Even I don't get genuinely excited, no, but that is, this is, I, this is, this is neat. Wow. I've been shot. Too much metal slug. Okay, it's pretty slick. Pretty slick overall. Actually, this is gonna be pretty straightforward to build in. Every once in a while a case comes along or like a build comes along that like, that tickles my, I mean, if you could feel these nipples right now, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Put your head down. That's not okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, that is in, Pop, popping that down. Look for the little slit in there. And then, oh, I'm curious. What kind of, what kind of click we gonna get here, guys? <clears throat> here we go, ready? Ooh. Oh. Oh, that was a great click. Holy moly. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was the best. Did you hear that? That was a solid it click. Is. Solid. Solid. I, I could remix that. It's like click, click, click. Okay, here's the big moment right here, guys. We gotta see if the we gotta see if the uh, Master Air MA620M will fit. But wait, before we do that, let's go ahead and clean up our RAM here real quick. Okay, it's all clean. The CPU cooler is massive. Just so you guys know, you guys ready? Here you go. Here you go. Ready for this? Ready for this cooler? This cooler is so funny. Question is, will this work? Oh, it works, guys. It works. It has clearance. We can put this on. I'm excited. Oh, I need to put the NVMe in. Okay, we're gonna pop that in there, use our little, just like that. Line it up like so. There we go, here we go. Oh, so good. And it's in, happy St. Patty's Day. I love the color green, that's why I'm gonna cover it right now. So we've got that done now, let's go ahead and grab, we're gonna put our cooler together. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie, there's some torque on that. Time to do a little uh, thermal paste inst installation. Bam. Okay, thermal paste is in. Okay, let's finish mounting our mount stuff. We've got our RGB and all that stuff here. We're gonna take this one right here, put it right right there. And then we're gonna take 
take our RGB, put it right there. Do we another RGB header? Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Our air cooler is in. It is ready to destroy. Let's go and install our fans and all those bits so we can kind of get that done. We're now at the point where we're gonna put this beautiful, ginormous tower inside of the Antec Dark Cube case. So you've got a USB-C, you've got USB-3, you've got RGB, um, basically for all of these, and you've also got your uh, front, you've got a fan hub as well. So you can do three fans and three individual RGBs right here in the front, and then, uh, which makes it super easy. That's actually pretty cool. So I've been like really, really impressed with this case thus far. So what I hooked up, just so you got, I'm trying to give it so you guys get a good view. So what I hooked up here is I hooked up our two fans. These are our two Corsair IQ fans. I hooked those directly into our fan, our fan hub. Here in the front, there was only one uh, front panel connection and that was for power switch, so I plugged that in. We've got our USB 3.2, which I plugged in here. Um, this is our fan hub fan header, which is plugged, so it gives the fans power. We've got our fan hub RGB header, and then we've got HD audio. So now what I'm gonna do is just work on making the board, this part of the board look super clean. So now your top of your case, when you look from the top, things look really clean. Okay, so all there's our build so far. Nice and small, clean, looks good, I think. Now we just gotta put in our GPU, which is coming up now. The, this is like the maximum size of GPU you can put in this. There it goes. We have to take this out first. Okay. Welcome to micro ATX and mini ITX installations, where you have to like, Figure out the right order to put things in. So there's that's in. A CPU fan. There's our RGB. Well, uh, we'll run extensions. Let's just do it. There we go. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this like this. Okay, here we go. Same thing. I think that actually ends up being a pretty creative use of cable combs, and then it ends up looking really nice. So that's how we'll do it. Let's turn it over, start our PSU. There we go. Okay, so that's in. Now we're gonna get it back inside of its little case thing here. Welcome to small form factor cases. Okay, got it. There we go. Okay, build is done. Premium power button too. Oh, how does it look? Ooh, look at that. case is cool. This is a cool, this is a cool PC. And uh, it's pretty impressive given what we have from a footprint standpoint, what we were actually able to get on. What I have is a full size, like essentially full size Strix GPU in here. Um, great cooling. 
um, and overall just attractive case with something a little bit different and very premium both uh, powder coated, you know, powder coated, I don't know that steel or aluminum um, and uh, just quality tempered glass, uh, all well done tooling. Um, yeah, I, I am very impressed with this case. Very impressed. I mean, the one thing is, is like, it's definitely not the most stable case, right? But um, in terms of just building in, yeah, this is, this is a great, this is a great, great build. Great build. Definitely tippy. Okay, so that is it for today's show. <laughs> Take that, Phil Spencer.